okay so this is a precision rectifier of uh, the improved design and it's in the wikipedia page about precision rect uh, rectifiers and yeah this png is like copied from there of course okay so what's my issue with this design well I i'm not having an issue with the design i'm just having an issue with the way it's represented i just don't get it why they don't connect the op amp to the ground that should be assumed i know but it causes confusion so my confusion initial confusion in fact with op amps themselves was that why is this producing current like when there is no current entering from uh, these wires then how can it produce current of course it's producing current because it's taking stuff from the power rails which are connected directly or indirectly to the ground so that's how it produces current and the way i keep myself sane during calculations related to these kind of circuits is by drawing a main ground wire you know drawing this ground wire and then connecting the op amp to the ground wire and of course the output as well through a load resistance and this input remember there are no actual voltages there are only voltage differences so this input v in is actually a voltage difference between the ground wire and this terminal so i don't know what you are connecting maybe there's a there's a battery over here you know plus minus whatever maybe there's an ac source no idea but that's for creating the voltage difference right okay so let's start uh, analyzing this circuit first of all so one of the things that wikipedia says is that um, there are only two conditions that are possible in this scenario which is first v in is positive and v out is zero and in that case you are um yeah your d2 is conducting while your d1 is not right yeah i think that was the case so let's see if that's actually going to make sense uh yeah right okay that was thing right so d2 is conducting d1 is not conducting and in that case your v out is zero given v in is positive um basically all it said is that v in is positive that means v out is zero right and it happens that d2 is conducting and d1 is not conducting okay what i'm going to do is actually start with the assumption that d2 is conducting and d1 is not conducting right and um in that case what will happen is that there's some current i over here um there's some small current i why am i saying it's a small current well you will see why that's the case uh these get added up and that's capital i plus small i going over there so the same current is actually entering over here as well this current i goes in this branch and then it goes into the op amp because this cannot conduct um right so there's current i going into the op amp then there's current i leaving from the op amp as well these two wires cannot conduct so the only place where op amp can uh, give out current i is through this so there's current i over here all right cool um and there's current small i coming from here because it travels like like this right and then it becomes capital i plus small i when it uh have when, in this branch and then it like goes back okay that's how it's going to be now it just so happens that um the resistance for the current in this path is really small right and be, and, and this uh, resistance is of course finite so because that resistance is really small capital i is much 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 more in comparison to small i or you could also say that small i is negligible in comparison to capital i which means that there's almost no current through r2 which means these two terminals are the same voltage well we know that this thing is zero right and any same voltage over here would of course mean that the voltage difference between these two must be zero so then this is zero this thing is zero this thing is zero and that means this is also zero because no current through or small current through r2 right so um yeah which means that v out is in fact zero and for that we of course require that i is in this direction then this in this direction there's no current to this then it must be in that direction which means that v in is positive so yeah this condition that <laughs> that um d2 is conducting and d1 is not conducting requires v in to be positive and v out to be zero but there is another condition which also requires the same thing to happen which is that d2 is conducting and d1 uh, is conducting all right so i'm going to remove all of this 
uh, yeah not removing the wires though because those are useful okay so the other condition is that d2 is conducting as well as d1 is conducting in that case because these uh, op amps are ideal and of course like sorry op amps is, I, op amp is ideal and uh, diodes are also ideal uh, so first of all the op amp has the virtual short so like this is zero this is zero and yeah th you might think it's like jargon i'm just throwing at you but figure it out all right this is some same voltage some finite voltage over there then that means that voltage difference between these is zero this thing is zero that is also zero all right so that's zero over there this is zero over there the diode is ideal which means that if it's if it's conducting uh there's a there's like no voltage drop to the diode then this is zero this is also conducting so this is also zero and what that means is that v out is zero nice um and this is conducting like that okay cool um it has some current through it this current is going through there uh this current is not necessarily the same thing as this current because there's current going from there as well so there could be some current in this loop and some current in the bigger loop so like this right okay um and what about r2 does that not conduct any current well it does not because look this is zero this thing is zero there's no potential across r2 which means all of this current is actually coming from this side right so this current is actually just v in upon r1 right so there's a constant current v in upon r1 in this whole branch but then there's current coming from this uh, depending on whatever rl is so basically whenever v in is positive like these two cases are the only cases when your v in is in fact, is in fact positive so whenever your v in is positive v out will be uh, will be zero automatically and you don't have to worry about the rest the internal you know current stuff you don't have to worry about that because that will figure itself out okay these are the only two cases that could happen and yeah let's go to the next two cases which uh which is that okay first case is so in both cases in fact d2 is not conducting first case d2 is not conducting but d1 is conducting all right so if d2 is not conducting then in both cases in fact the current through this is actually going directly in that so you know that this thing is negative r2 upon r1 now in what case does this actually make sense so whether or not d1 is conducting you know that there is a voltage drop across this so okay when it, whenever d1 is conducting there's a voltage drop across this but it's an ideal uh, diode so the voltage drop is really small so then it's just negative r2 upon r1 over here as well right um so if v is positive this is actually negative quantity and we know that this voltage is zero then this does not make sense because this is zero this is negative this is higher than this voltage this should be conducting but we already assume it's not so that's a contradiction so that is out right v in can be positive oh actually I'll also show you the second case where you have a similar scenario so when d1 is not conducting this is still negative v um, in upon r1 times r2 right that's what v out is so just write that down v out equal to negative v in r2 upon r1 so what i just showed was that when d2 is not conducting this is the voltage and then when d1 is conducting in that scenario everything messes up you don't get anything nice so what happens if d2 is d1 is not conducting if d1 is not conducting that we then we know that this voltage is actually higher than whatever voltage over, is over here which means this is further negative so once again d2 should be conducting so that's once again not going to work right so the only way is that v in must be negative right so if v in is negative and d2 is not conducting uh so then the current is going in like this and this is going like that right uh this is still negative v in r2 upon r1 but now it's a positive quantity right and now you have those two cases whether or not d1 is conducting so if it's conducting then this voltage is just negative v in r2 upon r1 right if it is a positive quantity and this thing is zero this thing is some positive quantity it works out d1 d2 is not conducting what if d1 is um you know not conducting in that case this is actually lower than that and we don't know what this value is yeah this is one of those feel 
this is one of those cases where it's weird what we we don't know what's happening over there but if t1 is not conducting all we know is that this thing is smaller than this positive value all right and this thing is zero so if this thing is positive then it's then it's like d2 is not going to conduct right okay and also in the case when d1 is not conducting i don't think the op amp is providing any support for current to to go through this right but but the v out thing is still the same right your v out is still just negative v naught upon r1 so as you vary rl all the current is actually going to go through your v in right um wait a second yeah there's current going through that this is zero this is zero this is that oh yeah okay so as you vary rl this current is going to change of course because this voltage is the same this voltage is the same but that current is going to change where does that current come from it should come from the op amp but now it's not conducting so that also does not make sense so that fourth case is also not correct so there are really just two cases that could happen one is that v in is positive d2 is um conducting d1 is not conducting and uh v output is zero right the other case is that v in is negative d2 is not conducting d1 is conducting and uh v output is negative r2 upon r1 times v in right so only those cases and there you go now i can finally rest in peace i'll see you guys in the next video bye